Well, first of all, uh, it's, it's very difficult uh, to separate religion and politics, even though we have uh, you know, this uh, supposed or uh, constitutional separation of church and state, which you know, is, I consider a good thing. The state doesn't tell people to be religious or how to be religious, uh, etc. Um, so you can be as serious about your religion or you don't have to be religious. That's, that's a good thing. But uh, religion is such an integral part of uh, culture that it's very difficult, even for people who are not actively involved in a religion, uh, not to uh, have some values, some, some perspective of something that has, again, been uh, shaded, colored, uh, or heavily influenced by either traditional religious beliefs or in a culture that has uh, imbibed in a lot of the values that have come from uh, religion. And uh, Swissy Southern California, we're probably the most religiously diverse place on the planet. So, uh, we're, you know, so we have people coming here from other cultures that take their religion very seriously. Uh, so yes, absolutely, uh, religion does influence uh, people. Uh, religion continues to animate people, for good or for bad. So it's, I think it's important for us to understand that. I think it's important for students and politicians to understand and appreciate uh, religion uh, from a, a descriptive point of view. And again, uh, I, I don't see a time in the near future where religion is not going to be uh, integrated in the political uh, decisions and the, and the politics of uh, uh, America, especially.